It's a two mile five furlong 0 to 120 handicap to finish my stint in the commentary box this week. Jennifer Connolly at the top for Matt Cooper. Pastime Dreamer Martin, City Delight Jim Murray. Paperweight Walker David Robertson. Pearly Jane John Morgan. Roller Six Crane Wreck with Stake Your Objection. Joshua Sutherland. Chopped All Nation and Unix Picasso for Alex Cherry. And him Ryan and Victorian Bounty for Jamie Hopkins. A field of 11 then in this one. Called in and away. I've got 13 fences to get over this time. And Pearly Jane is in front for John Morgan. Passed on Dreamer and Unix Picasso flanking. And back in fourth is Stake Your Objection. A fairly long one to the first of the 13 fences. And they get to it now, it's a ditch. And they're all safely over it with him, Ryan. Just the back marker. Graham will be taking you through the Hunter Chases to end this week's races. Next week we've got the Cheltenham Festival, of course. Hopefully things will run a bit smoother next week. And they get over the second. And they're all safely over that one, although Paperweight Walker made a bit of a mistake. Pearly Jane is in the lead, leading by two. To Jennifer Connolly, second. Unix Picasso, third. And then Pastime Dreamer, fourth. Tall Nation, Him Ryan, Victorian Bounty, City Light, Roller Six, and then finally Paperweight Walker as they get to the third. Just they're all over okay, they passed on Dreamer, jumped in a little bit slowly. Next week, maybe the big target for everybody, I'm sure most people have put their horses in these looking at the Cheltenham Festival races as their main targets, trying to get a winner. At that meeting. Pearly Jane is in the lead. From Unix Picasso second as they pass the winning post then. With a full circuit ahead of them. And Pearly Jane. Clear by five. To Jennifer Connolly second. State your objection third. Unix Picasso four. And pastime dreamer on the inside of those as we barely see them getting over that one. The wall. I never noticed that in the last race. Remember the camera is a little bit lower this time. Remember we switched to the other side before, but it's, <laughs> it's almost like peering over the top. We'd lost one. Unix Picasso has gone. Um, when hidden behind the wall. So they were hidden behind the trees. Maybe in the angle. I'm sure in the last race we didn't have this. The angle must have changed last time. I've not changed it this time. But anyway, it's Pearly Jane who's clear as they get to the sixth. So they're all again safely so Once again, pastime dream was very. Ponderous. Pearly Jane continuing to leave. Lees, lead as we watch them through the leaves. Look at this next one. And it's making my eyes go funny, to be honest. Good job, it's the last race I've got to do. Pearly Jane in front as they come to this ditch. I think actually with the cameras panned out too far. To try and get the whole field and it needs to be a bit closer together. I think last race we were close because we always see these things that I refer to as the cheap seats, don't we? But we never have trees in the way of them. And I think that's what the issue's been with this race. The camera is pulled out too far. And that's why we're getting all the, all the trees in my because I'm not epileptic. Anyway, <laughs> changing the lead. Well, we should joke about such things. Stake your objection is second as they get to the tenth. We've zoomed in there, too late now, all the trees are gone. It's Pearly Jane in front from State Your Objection second, him Ryan is third, Roller Six is fourth, then Victorian Bounty, Pastime Dreamer is next, then Jennifer Connolly. As they head towards the final three, the third last is the final ditch, and Pearly Jane is bringing the lead all the way. Pastime Dreamer's now moved through into second. Probably would have been a lot closer and jumping a bit better as they get over that ditch. It's Pearly Jane. State your objection now, second. Pastime Dreamer, third. Him, Ryan, is fourth. Lot of six on the inside. Then Jennifer Connolly, Paperweight Walker trying to run on. And then Victorian Bounty, City Delight, and Chocked All Nation look out of it as they get over the second last. And it's this Pearly Jane who's going to try and make it a pillar to post win for John Morgan. Pearly Jane is well clear with three furlongs to go and just one more fence to get over. Pastime Dreamer is in second. State your objection is third. Roller six, fourth. Him, Ryan, running a big race in fifth as they come down towards this final fence then now there's still just over two furlongs to go and one fence to get over Pearly Jane jumps in the lead didn't jump it well at all Pearly Jane in the lead still Pastime Dreamer starting to get closer state your objection 
is in third. Roller six back in fourth. They're heading down towards the final furlong. And Pearly Jane is hanging on him a lead past time. Jim, it doesn't look like he's got a lot left. State your object has got nowhere to go. Pearly Jane hanging on. They're coming down towards the final half furlong. Pearly Jane's in the lead. Past time Dreamer and State your objection are not going to get there. And Pearly Jane is going to take it from State your objection second. Past time Dreamer back in third. Then Paperweight Walker, Roller six. Him, Ryan, Jennifer Connolly, and all the way back to Victorian Bounty. And um, Pearly Jane <laughs> hanging on despite that mistake at the last. Maybe a stake of objections could have got out a bit quicker. She might have got a bit closer, but it's Pearly Jane that takes it for John Morgan. Stake of objection for Joshua Sutherland was second. Pastime Dreamer was back in third. For Martin Little, for some reason, giving away weight to both of those. Then Paperweight Walker for David Rawson was fourth, and Roller Six for Craig Beckwith was fifth.